Hi, hello, my name is V, and my project is on depictions of the American dream through art. And my research question is, what are the correlating themes amongst paintings that depict the American dream, and what is the change over time with the depictions of it? <laughs> the American dream is the idea that the ideals of freedom and equal opportunity are given slash held by all Americans. And my first painting shown here is actually my oldest two out of the ones that I'm going to show you today. And this was painted by George Bellows on oil on canvas in 1912. And it includes a bunch of day laborers waiting around a dock hoping for late for a job that day. They're waiting next to this huge ship where if you follow it, it's pointing towards what's across the dock, which is a bunch of big buildings, and I'm assuming less impoverished people than them, middle class above, and I feel like they're looking that way or facing that way, which means that they're, it's like a metaphorical yearning for something, a better life for themselves or maybe their family. They're going out here, all these average looking Joes, you can't tell the difference between them, there is no hierarchy here, everyone is the same level, and they're all looking to make something of themselves with what they have themselves to get where they want to be. Now if you look at the second one, it's called Aspirations by Charles Douglas. Different painting, different time period, the other was the Great Depression, and this is the Harlem Renaissance. And it's the same sort of topic, you see the ch poverty, chains bound, slaves, African Americans are enslaved bound up and they have no freedoms. And you see them moving a step above, perhaps working class citizens now. They're looking at the Emerald, they're gazing and they're facing towards the Emerald City, looking, building, I think it's a factory, and they're yearning to make something better for their family and their community to move themselves up a social hierarchy one step, not making them, making a life for themselves up what they've already had. Is that not the same as the other painting in here? Different time, different artists, different social backgrounds. Same concept. Average looking people, you can't tell the difference between them. They all seem to be if equal social status. All looking off into the distance, yearning for what they want to reach. Maybe love is a common theme in the American Dream depictions. Now here you have Norman Rockwell. He's a very famous illustrator for the Times and the Post. He did a lot of pieces through in the 1910s, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. I think 60s too. He, and here he illustrates the four freedoms. He basically takes what you would want to see as an, what the media wanted to portray. The average American looking as a happy American, a proud American. It became what the American dream would look like to most people in the 40s and the 50s. And here you would have a man standing, an average Joe, standing up to speak it towards his community, to better their community, to better their people, to have better opportunities. And here you have what many working class families would hope to see, hope to dream for, to have. You know, sitting down at Thanksgiving at a full table with a family and a lot of food. It's a luxury. It's what they dream for. And then here's the freedom of religion and it's showing that we're now a diverse country and that everybody is equal and we're all open to the equal opportunities. These are what people would start to hope and dream and like to see themselves grow into. This is what they want. This is the American dream. And you can already see that throughout time things have already shifted from day laborers working to better themselves or their family, to the African Americans that looking to make their lives better, their families' lives better, and their communities' lives better. And now we have another thing, nationalism. We have people who were looking to work for themselves, for their family, to their community, and now on a nationalistic level. If you better your country, you better yourself. And that became the American dream, was a proud American who's looking to make everything better with but an underdog, an average Joe who was able to get where he wanted with just himself, what he already had, what he was born with. 
And here you have Modern Peace, which was actually a different take on the American Dream. Here you have single family, a single family like mold 40s and 50s dream house. And he, this guy takes sand and he pats it down and he makes rows and rows in communities, neighborhoods even, and he puts it really close to the, the waves, the shore. And the waves come and they crash and they destroy it. And he's saying that this is the depiction of the real estate crash. And he's making a metaphor that, that the American dream is distorted or even just not even there anymore. He's challenging it. And it's changed. It's gone from a strong belief in national, I mean, a strong belief in the American dream to questioning if there still is one. And so if you can conclude it, you can see that all of these dreams, all these, these paintings and pictures, they all had an average Joes and average looking people who you look, they all looked equal and they all looked like they were working super hard and they were working to better themselves in their community, working to make their lives better with what they were given. And as you move through time, it looked as though they were moving from less of themselves and their family to more of a nationalistic view to even questioning if there is still an American dream. And that's all. Thank you.